All right, <clears throat> we're back. Uh, last episode, what did we do? The fuck did we do? Oh yeah, we killed Buddy up there to help with to help some settlers at some at a little farm or whatever. You're gonna you probably remember that. But yeah, we helped them out, and since we helped them out, there's a how do. Oh, there it is. They, uh, you help them out for whatever reason because they're bothering them and whatnot. So, that's that. And now we're heading back. Then we're going to tell President Garvey that we helped them out. And then, yeah, we should be set. We should be set and ready to fucking, you know, do what it do. You feel me? What the fuck? Oh. Dog found enemy, huh? Oh shit. Are they deep? Oh fuck. They are deep! Whoa! This gun is ass. This gun is ass. This gun is straight ass. Get off my boy! Get off my boy! There's people up there too. We got a dip. We got a dip. We need a dip. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Grenade! Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Move. Not my face. Holy shit. Holy shit. And my boy's hurt. I can't get no help. Yep. 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 Who else? Who else? Oh, you up there? Mm-hmm. What? Pop your head out. Pop your head out. Come on. Come on. Yep. 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 You don't want it for real. You don't even want it for real. You don't want it as bad as I do. Come on. Come on, boy. Move here. Come on. We got a dip. We need a dip. We need a dip right after we loot, though. Hold on. There's more? Who? Where? Oh. F what the fuck? Na Hell no. Nah. That man got a fucking fat man. He got those mini nukes. I think he killed himself though. I don't know, but I'm not. Uh uh. Uh uh. Hell no. Nah. Nope. 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 Get me out of here. That's just goober at. Alright, fool. We killed the people. Killed the people. Come on. Talk to me. Talk to me. You find those raiders? Yes. Kick their asses. I kick their asses for you. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen. Oh, nice. We want things to get better. We've got to start helping each other. Exactly. We're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. No problem, fool. I want to trade a few things. Go ahead. Oh, we can trade? What does he got? Nigga ain't got shit. Broke ass. This man is broke. He's a broke boy. He is a broke. I'm not even going to do you like that. I'm not even going to do you like that. Alright. <clears throat> Did that. Let's go back to Preston Garvey. Tell him that we, um... The fuck did we just do? My man is really just taking a dip. What are you... Bro. My guy, come here. You ask me, freedom's always worth fighting for. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to me. Yeah. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? You guys came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturgis, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. 
We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. But I don't know what the fuck to say this, man. But I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Thanks. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new start for the Minutemen. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way. General. Alright, don't call me General. That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minuteman has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new General. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. <laughs> Nigga, what? Uh huh. Bro. Our scouts have found oh. a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it. We'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. I think I know what he's talking about. Can, all right, I want you to be my companion. Like I, I fought with dog. I fought with the dog and all. Excuse me. Is there something you need? Yeah. Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Don't worry, dog meat. I'll take good care of him. Dog me, where are you going? Uh, uh dog me, don't go back there. Dog me, dog me, dog me. Back before General Becker died, the Minutemen were. I want you to go there. All right. <clears throat> now the only other problem of having this dude with me, right? He talks a lot. Let's shut the fuck up. Please help! I don't want to die. Please, you gotta help me. This guy's a synth, and he, he's gonna kill me and replace me and my family. Oh God! Huh? My kids! Don't you dare bring him up. He's the synth, and he wants to replace me. Please. The fuck? Please, you gotta believe me. You can't let that thing do this. I don't. I don't. I don't know which one to kill. I don't know, I don't, bro. I don't know which one to kill. Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Then maybe I can help. My charisma. I'm not a sin. You have to believe. My charisma is too low. Let's all just calm down. No one has to die. No, he wants me dead. He's never gonna stop. I have to kill. Don't listen to him. It'll say anything to convince you. Look, all I need. My charisma is too low to do this shit. Then we can talk this through. No. Fuck. No, you'll kill us both. Why don't you just tell me how this happened? How this happened? Fine. I was on my way to Bunker Hill. I round a bend, and I see this guy, me, gun drawn, ready to fire. After that, it's a, it's a blur. We scuffled for a while, but I won. Now, I don't know what else I can say to convince you. He's the synth. Now, are you gonna get out of my way? 
I don't fucking know. I I'll you kill you both. Anything if I take you down first. Oh, thank God. Damn it, I'll kill you both. Oh no. Oh, was he the real one? Was he the real one? Was he the <laughs> Go. You saved my life. I can't thank you enough. Bye. Thank God you showed up when you did. I think that thing was really gonna do it. I wanna kill him. I, I wanna kill him. I wanna shoot his ass. Fuck it, dude. I don't. I, okay. All right. Anyway, let, okay. Let's get back to this shit. The fuck. Oh, fuck. Right here. Okay. <clears throat> oh, bitch. Oh my god. Bro, people in here are fucking wild. Bro, I'm like, <laughs> bro, why the fuck didn't that shit go off when I first walked past it, huh? Like, oh my god, I get in fights. I get into straight up fucking gunfights and I don't die. But a fucking, like a, a fucking box with a damn bomb and it kills me. Not, not people with guns. Somebody with a, somebody that put a fucking box down at a drive-in theater. This is some bullshit. Yep. Yep. Reload. Get shot, Preston. So this is ah. Okay? <laughs> right on the top of his fucking head. You can now workshop. What do I? Huh? What do I need to do? What am I doing? Hello? What the fuck? What what am I doing? What are we looking for? I don't know what we're looking for. What am what? Build an active recruit Oh the radio beacon, the radio beacon, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. The radio beacon, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh there you go. Put this motherfucker right here. This won't work without power. You're asking just too much from me. Gotta get a generator. Where is it at? Oh. I already built one in the bag. And I scrapped this one then. No. Oh. So now run a wire to the generator. To to the shit. Oh, attach wire. Oh. Okay, 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 I get I get it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now we activate it. Is it off? Okay, it's on. Alright. What's up, fool? Hey, point it out. What now? I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Okay, so that was just a little a little short mission. Alright, then I can fit I can I can probably fit one more mission in this game.
Let's go to Diamond City. Is that the... What is this? What is this? What the fuck is that? Ooh. I want it. Fuck! No. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm stuck. I gotta get up. Move, bitch. Move, bitch. Move. Get off me. Fucking hell. Now I'm stuck. What do you mean I can't sit in combat? Preston! I'm not in combat, help! Oh, oh, fuck, man! Bro, Preston. Preston, bro. Preston. Help me. Help, Preston, help. So is that it? So I guess that's it. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Now I guess we would head to the police station at some point, but right now that's not our mission, so we're not gonna go there. Huh? Nothing shoddy. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, Shawty. Don't even worry about it. Don't even, don't, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You didn't hear anything. I didn't open a door. None of that. I didn't open a door. None. Of Bitch. 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 Preston, help! Preston. Fuck. Ah, shit. Did you get her, bro? What the fuck is going on? Preston beat her ass. Damn. Okay. Alright, now watch out. Let me get in. Please move. Preston. Preston, bro. My guy. Come on. Come down here. They're over there. I missed. Alright, thank you. The fuck? Mutant. How? Oh shit! Oh, um, mm. I ain't got beef. I ain't got beef. I ain't got beef with the mutants. Y'all cool. Y'all cool. Y'all cool. Y'all cool. Y'all cool. Fuck. Everything in here just wants to goddamn kill you. Can we talk it out? Can we? Can we please talk it out? Hello. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here, crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Tizzy. Piss it, tiss it. Right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I can wait all Ooh. day, Danny. Open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah. I just got here, but yeah. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. 
Give me a minute. All right. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Hello. Mayor McDonough. One second, sir. Okay. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Checking for loot. Mr. McDonough, tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Uh, yeah. I've always believed in freedom of the press. It's one of the foundations of a free society. Oh, mm. I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Thanks. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't mm -hmm. let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, Ooh. was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. <gasps> He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I mean, it's really not an infant. It's a grown ass man by now. Every case that comes through, I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. The subtitles are off. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, hey. Uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Stop by your office the, for the next story, or are you trying to? <laughs> you try? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this for this episode, and and yeah. Alrighty, I'm I'm out of here. Toodaloo. God, that was so bad. <laughs>